Ready, Victoria? Yes. Doobie doo 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 Singing in the rain. Singing in the rain. Singing in the rain. Just singing in the rain. What a glorious feeling. I'm happy again. Hello, yes, man. I sing out of tune. Yes, um, <laughs> we don't know the words, but that is We're okay. We're singing <laughs> in the rain. Are you Brisket Bob? <laughs> brisket Bob. Yes, no These wax, are no. our. These are our hats. These are hats they <laughs> gave them to us. <laughs> <laughs> Actually, we bought them. They were pretty darn expensive. They're like lingerie. You spent a lot of money for a little bit of fabric. <laughs> well, we got all the other stuff as well. Yeah, gas. Food. Right. Gas, that's true. <laughs> <laughs> oh, God. Hello, Jeffrey Good morning, and Patty. Patty. <laughs> Jeffrey, welcome to the show. Ivana. Ivana. Oh. Hiya. Good and Angela. Welcome to the show. It's and singing, Shannon. just singing in, in the rain. The rain. Good right. morning, Anne. Welcome <laughs> to the show, Natasha. Okay. I love the way you spell your name, by the way. Yes, yes. Singing, and she's got a squiggle under the air. Just singing or in the Think. rain. So. Well, remember, Bob, you can tune a piano, but you can't tune a fish. What? And today's show is brought to you by <laughs> words. Can't the words don't fish. matter because. Hello, Daniela, you can have Deborah, so much and fun Laurel. With them. <laughs> Can Happy have so New Year, you him. all. Hello, can Paula. Have so much fun with him. He can have so much fun with him. <laughs> That's right. Paula, okay. welcome to the show. Ivana. Yes. Welcome to the show. We've got an amazing show today, guys. It's why we hate New Year's resolutions. What to do instead. We've got a Neville Goddard quote. Victoria, as usual, is going, whoa, this will be good. Yeah. I'm <laughs> <laughs> just waiting for it. Hiya, Gary. Vivian. I'm Vivian. She oh, MJ. Hello. <laughs> Laurel has joined What's the show. What's she saying? Mariah. Morning. Oh, morning. Morning. <laughs> Hiya, Debbie. Good morning. Hello, Anita. Good morning. Okay. It's great to stay So what number late. are we? Uh, we are a uh, fudge man. Who knows? 457 maybe, right? It's like 357, but an extra four. Be a lot of torque on the old uh, seven. Yes, four fifty-seven. Yeah. Just singing. Nice hats. I know we got them for free. It's cool, isn't it? We well, did not. We spent we paid hundreds a lot. of dollars I know. to get gas in these hats. <laughs> <laughs> Let's just be really frank here, guys. Next year we're doing a bottle of wine and a blanket up on the hill. Yeah, I think <laughs> next year we'll just do something That's lower right. key. <laughs> yeah, a bottle of wine and a blanket up on the hill. Yeah. For me and Victoria. Well, them Probably take the pups in as well. That's right. <laughs> they don't know what they missed out on. That's right. Hi, guys. Lots of prawns All and right. oysters. So, yum. not a singer. I am definitely a singer. What? Absolutely. I remember when I did the first recording I ever did where I sung, right? So, <laughs> I had the microphone set up. I'm sitting there, okay? So, I know what I'm going to cover in the recording, but I don't know where I'm going to start. And I hit the button, and out comes Johnny Cash. <laughs> oh, this is going to be a great recording. recording. I can't wait to hear from Rick. Right? Men like Rick. I like my recordings. Anyway, men like Next Rick. Next year, Laurel wants to be in Sydney for New Year's Eve. Oh, righty then. Apparently, they Why? had the most advanced pyrotechnic show this 2000 in, in the world. So they wasted the most year. money. I, yeah, I, I, sure. I, I love Millions. Australia. I, I do, but it's like, well, you know what? We have to do things to protect the environment. Let's <laughs> do yeah. fireworks, right? I know. Oh, we have to save money. Yes, and where we were, yeah, right, bang right. in the middle of the city. Remember all the birds? You could see them come out of the buildings when oh, yeah. all the fireworks were going off. That's right. It's sad, really. Yep. Yeah. Wake up, buckwheat. That's okay. So, yes. Shall we do the Neville Goddard quote, people? Yes. All right, Victoria. Yes. Look what we got Where, for have you. Have we told them what to do? Or no. They all know what all right, to do uh, anyway. freenevel.com. Yes. Right? Manifestingmasterycourse.com. That is the rightness, everyone. And for refunds. Feel real fun. Dot com. Dot com. Okay. All righty. Yes. Now, quote. Quote, Victoria. <clears throat> right. Okay. Many a person will say they want something today, but forget about it a week later. <laughs> I'm not speaking about some little magical thing where you can wave a wand and your desire will suddenly appear. This law is based upon a principle. If you want something, you can have it, but you must be willing to give up what you are, what you are now in order to be what you want to be. That is the only price you pay. No sacrifice is required outside of giving up the state in which you find yourself and moving into the state where you want to be. 
for they are only steak. That's right. So to change my life, I'm giving up meat and whiskey for a month. <laughs> Hello, Herbe! I'm and John K. Blair. As well. <laughs> How are you both? Struggle, sacrifice. All right, so let's dive in, guys. Yes. So New Year's resolutions. Now, you know, I, I'm not a fan of like there's power in words, but words really do reveal things like process, right? Yeah. So. Well, you love them because you love nailing them. <laughs> I love nailing them, right? Yeah. So here's the thing, guys. Ready? <clears throat> Resolution. Resolution. Resolve. Resolve. Right? Just explore this with me, right? It's not the word because people go, okay, I don't, I'm not going to do resolutions. I'm going to do goals. Goals. That way, <laughs> goals. Uh, all the same goals I had last year, that same process, right? Now, really get how cool this is. Ready? My New Year's re solution for my re problem is going to be <laughs> losing weight, doubling my income, getting a raise. Being nice to her, <laughs> right? Wow, that's well, loads wow. of resolutions in there. <laughs> Absolutely. <laughs> but you get it, right? Every year, seriously. People say, this will be the year where this will be the year. Uh, okay, I will resolve being fat again. I will resolve being fat again. I will resolve <laughs> being... And by about uh, January 18th or so, that's when we send out an email that says, how's it going? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so what did Neville say? Many a person will say they want something today, but forget about it a week later. Huh. Mm. All right. Hello, Ellie and Gordana. Meanwhile, we've talked about three kinds of people, Victoria. Yes. When we go to the Digital Marketer Conference, because we make them come here, because I, I don't Didn't like getting on, I don't away. like getting on planes <laughs> anymore, right? No. So we make them come here, <clears throat> and we meet three kinds of people. There's Mr. Hopeful. I hope this helps my business because I am so screwed. <laughs> <laughs> then there's Mr. Determined. He does the push-ups before he gets out of bed, right? I am determined to make this work for my business. <laughs> I am determined it will work, right? And then there's me. I'm very freaking different. So What are they called? <laughs> so there's Mr. Determined, Mr. Hopeful Land. Yep, me. And right. So okay. notice what Neville <laughs> says. This law is based on a principle. If you want something, you can have it, but you must be willing to do what? Give up what you now are in order to be what you want to be. Ah. <laughs> That's it. Have a lovely day. Visit us at freenevel.com. No, Avana's got something long there, but I was just, I was just trying mm -hmm, to... Mm -hmm, something. Uh, sorry, Avana. Slipped off before I could get to it. Oh, and another wait. Avana's arrived. Hello. Alrighty. If you can cut and paste it in a little bit back in, that would be great. Yeah. Long ones are really tough for us. Yeah. So, get how cool this is, guys. You don't have to resolve being fat. Okay, you don't have to resolve. Let's make some money this year. That would be fun, wouldn't it? Right? Resolving means you have to keep making it a problem again. How do you make it a problem again? Well, I'm going to do what it takes to lose weight, right? Instead of giving up being fat. <laughs> okay? You, you can give up being the guy that sits in traffic and be the guy that listens to traffic. Mm. Right? By the way, mm -hmm. some people, we saw a sign. What did it say? It's not that you're sitting in traffic, it's that you are traffic. Yeah. <laughs> right? that, that's, that was that's, good. that's true, right? Yeah, and that was behind someone's bumper bar. We were sitting and watching it and reading it, and it's <laughs> like, yep, yep. <laughs> we're traffic. <laughs> so th that's the cool thing. So you've got to give something up, okay? So instead of, it's, it's the coldest time of the year for most of you people. It's the hottest here, right? Either way, it's a struggle. It's the time of year to struggle with taking on something new, like a gym membership. I'm going to take the gym membership on. <coughs> yeah, how's that going, Bruce? Right? Hey, Versus, Bruce. Bruce. how do you give up being fat? How do you give up just getting by? Okay, you change what you're imagining, okay? In instead of imagining, you know what, I'm going <coughs> to count the money and I've got a little extra money this month. This is great. I'm going to... Yeah, stop doing that. Give, let that person die so you can replace it with somebody mm. better. Yeah. By the way, did you know, and when I say better, that's all subjective. I mean, like, yeah, yeah, I'm not, I'm not better than you because I don't sit in traffic. I'm just smart. Or then. You. Well, that's just the life. That's what <laughs> yeah. you chose. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, just having fun. Yeah. By the way, does Some anybody know? want to. How would the percentage of people that actually succeed with their New Year's re-solutions, re-problems? How many people actually succeed at that, do you know? I don't know, but Ma is that Marta? 
just said she works in a gym and it's so oh, yeah, true. The, I'd the, seen the, the January 18. <laughs> Absolutely. <laughs> yeah. Be, yeah, I'm going to yep. get this figure. Yay. They, and if the gym and people the are the smart, <laughs> they, they, they sell the year-long membership with yes. the auto bill, right? Because <laughs> yes. nobody quits in February. They just skip a month. Yeah. <laughs> right, then, then it's March, and it's like, well, you know what? You know, I mean, I'll get back to it in April after the taxes. Right? Yeah, and then summer starts yeah. coming, so then they probably do start up again because they're thinking about. Oh, it's bikini season. Yeah. Yep. Got to go. <laughs> push, push, straight, push, shove, resolve. Imagined a happy friend. I'll we'll see if I yeah. can get it. No, I can't. Sorry, Ivana. We'll read it after the show. Cool. So <clears throat> this year's going to be different. Here's what I'm doing, guys. Leave it. All right, eight percent. By the way, according to Facebook this morning, eight percent. Eight percent actually succeeded their resolutions. Probably even higher than what I thought. <laughs> Marta says, "Yep, they're all gone by March." Isn't it great? Yeah. Oh, honest yeah. to God, you can make all your money in those first three months. And the... okay, so here's what we suggest instead, Brent. Nice to see you. Mm. Uh, by the way. Uh, <laughs> Brent helped a cop out the other day. <laughs> okay, yeah, I, I told you when you come to Australia, you got a meal on us. Uh, I mean it. Okay, so you know, thanks for helping out someone that needed help. Hmm. Come on, Brent. I haven't read All that. All right, <laughs> yeah, that was on his personal time. Ah. All right, sorry guys, <laughs> a little emotional there. So, uh, ninety-day experiments, ninety-day adventures. Okay, here's what I'm going to challenge you to. Right, challenge. Right. Thanks, Hamish. <laughs> we need wigs to go with these. <laughs> Hello, Ronnie. Uh, how's your life going to be different in 90 days? I, I'm just going to ask you to imagine up something. If your life was different in 90 days, in other words, I want you to frame your desire 90 days out. What would? What do you desire for 90 days out? Okay, so, you know, and I'm not saying make it happen in 90 days. I'm just saying if your life was different in 90 days. Right, for us it's summertime, and it, you know, it'll be autumn in 90 days. Yeah. What am I imagining different for autumn? Wow, right? a few mozzies around here, sorry. What? <laughs> a few mozzies. <laughs> so, so here's what I want you to do, okay? And I'm going to tell you how I live my life and how she lives hers. Okay, we have these little adventures, these little experiments. And if you play with these little adventures and little experiments, uh, and it all begins with the imaginal act. It's not like I'm going to force something to happen for the next 90 days. That's called joining the gym. We don't want you to join the gym, okay? Imagine what you want different in your life in 90 days. In other words, if, if you moved out in 90 days, what would what do you desire to be in 90 days? What do you desire to have different in 90 days? And it may or may not have happened by then. I really don't care. But I just want you to not do this. I'm going to go to Australia someday. Australia, go there and something will kill you. Right? You ain't fucking coming, right? Seriously. I mean, people, you know, you know, yep, Australia's on my bucket list. In other words, I will never see you. I promise you, as long as Australia is on my bucket list, yeah, this is the year I'm going to be unfat again. <laughs> right? You ain't doing it. Yeah. Okay, versus if you go, right, you know what? What if, just explore this way, what if in 90 days I was listening to it instead of being it? Okay? I'm listening to traffic instead of being traffic. Whoa! Okay? That's what's fun. So, play with that a little bit. I, another little thing. This is the crass commercial. You know it's coming, right? <laughs> manifesting mastery or manifesting to the max. If you've done one, do the other, okay? But do manifesting mastery first if you can, right? Uh, manifesting to the max dot com is the other one. But here's the thing: if you can take ninety days and 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 play where you haven't played before, your life changes. Okay. And in, in other words, I think about a buddy of mine named Jimmy, and Jimmy always needed beer to go talk to the women's. Okay, he always needed a beer. Yep, there's a woman. Get bartender, give me a beer. Bang, give me another one. Now I'm ready to go talk to him. Right? What would his life have been like if he decided, you know what, for 90 days, okay, I'm just going to, you know, play with something different. Okay, and I'm not saying change something in the physical world first. I'm just saying play with something different. Both those courses are designed to have you play with something mm -hmm. that I pretty much guarantee that you've never played with before. And if you play with something different for 90 days and you get to discover, yeah, I mean, seriously, just answering one question. If I had three core states with one core quality bringing them together, right, manifesting to the max, what would they be? I, I get to notice, am I loving? That's part of my three core states. I get to notice which loving I am, hmm. right? You know, right now it's primarily hubby and teacher. 
Yeah. Puppy Dad will show up after we hit the finish button. Yeah. But this is really cool, guys. Bob says Jimmy would be married and have kids. <laughs> yep, but Jimmy's got a bottle top collection. Right? <laughs> <laughs> and probably a lot of undies from strange women. <laughs> so, get how cool this is. Okay, instead of resolving, I am determined to resolve my problems again. Okay, uh, go on an adventure. Manifesting Mastery, you guys that have done it, is it cool or what? Every day you get a little email. Yeah. It's a new little adventure every day. You don't know what's coming. Yeah. That's <laughs> part of what's fun. <laughs> People say, what do I do next? <laughs> you know, but if they're not in Manifesto Mastery. In Manifesting Mastery, they, every day for 90 days, they got to, okay, do this. Wow, why would I do that? I'm not telling. Do it. <laughs> you know, you just do it. Okay? 90 little adventures. Okay? That's what's fun. So, uh, Victoria. What are your thoughts? What do you got? I've been on the roll. Uh, I'm sorry. No, I haven't got any thoughts. Uh, what if in 90 days you listen to traffic instead of being traffic? What if in 90 days you bought the peanut butter you really want? Right? By the way, it, it's it's important to me to, to, to point out a couple things. Someday, yep, I'll come to Australia. I'll sit on the veranda with you. No, you won't. Right? Okay, watch this. It's a dissociated visual. Wow, man. Be nice. <laughs> right? Not going to happen, right? This is what's really, you know, Debbie says do it. And Mike says yes, yeah. do manifesting mastery. <laughs> Absolutely, guys. You know, it's the little tiny things. It's that little tiny daily play. Uh, yep, someday I'll go to Australia. Plan on coming and seeing you this year, maybe. All right, <laughs> go get a passport. Why would I get a passport? <laughs> because you ain't getting in the country without one, right? Yeah. You, you, you know if you've moved. Because, like, today I'm going swimming. I do not go swimming on Tuesdays. It's Tuesday here. Anita says on day 25. <laughs> oh. Right? I'm going <laughs> cool. swimming today. Why am I going swimming today? Because I'm a swimmer, right? I, my, my body misses swimming. I haven't gone swimming since Saturday. So I'm going swimming today. But it's not so that I can unfat again this year. Unfat. <laughs> I'm going to unfat this year. <laughs> right? Her bay. Just do it. You bet it. I, I, I miss your updates, pal. <laughs> Drop me an email just for fun. Right? So, uh... Ver or Laurel says, I won't come sit on your veranda with a cigar. Mm -hmm. Now, Laurel, right, actually, she's been here twice, right? Dennis yeah. has been here, okay? And, uh, you know, Yasmin and Andrew, you all know they freaking live here. They right? live, exactly. <laughs> yeah, yeah, they come over and, hey, the puppies leak, all that good stuff. But there's a difference, right, between I'm coming over, right, because you've already seen yourself here. And, uh, right? <laughs> so, Lori has joined the show. Alrighty, so what changes do you desire? 90 days, yada, yada, yada. <coughs> Get rid of the guilt, hope, determination thing. Oh, guilt, that's a good one. We didn't cover that one. 8% of the people succeed. 8% <laughs> of the people suck. Seed. <laughs> you had hope, determination, and you. Yeah, hope, <laughs> you determination, and me. And it's guilt. <laughs> oh, no, no, no. Guilt's, guilt's yeah, another guilt's one. Guilt's below, yeah. yeah. You know what? I'm going to feel guilty if I... You know what I did last night? Okay, I, I don't like having these things in the house because I like them. We have crackers, oh, right? Yeah. I ate a box of crackers. Victoria said, do you want the healthy stuff or the crackers? And I said, give me the crackers, right? Let me get rid of it. Let me get rid of it, right? Okay, because I look at it, ooh, crackers, right? So, but, but, so does that ruin my resolution, my unfat? No, it means I had a box of crackers, right? So, side trip. All right, questions, comments, thoughts. Anybody that we missed with something for 90 days, I'm going to be happy and share a story with you how I became a famous oil painter. Yeah. Whoa, Havana. We like Is that Havana? painting. That's Havana. Cool. cool. So. Hello, Karen. Skip the New Year's resolutions because you have to yeah. re-problemify. <laughs> yeah. Problemify, right? Problemify. What do you choose to be now? I, I'm really going to go keep going back and suggesting for this year, uh, for the rest of your life. Why not adventure and explore more? Little 90-day adventures, little 90 things. Uh, Laurie says, can you tell us about the Life Call Group? Sure, join the Life Call, Life Call Group, right? It's on my personal timeline right now. Uh, I just shared a recording of one of the Life Calls we did last year in October. Mm. So go check it out. It's the it's the War Game Dance one. The first 10 uh. minutes, we're hacking through the technology, so just enjoy that. Yeah. But uh, we're going to do a bunch of Life Calls this year. And I have an ulterior motive for them. One, uh, yeah, charging some money. I love doing that. Right? I, I don't like doing things for free because then people show up and they pretend I'm Google. Mr. 2020, will you tell me about your Neville died? You're wasting my fucking time. Google no, is your friend. Great working right? in a group. Yeah. Instead However, when one we on play one. in yeah. a group, 
Yeah. That's fun, right? Yeah, so, yeah. so yeah, you know, for those who want to know, yep, yeah, there's a charge for the calls. Twenty bucks per call right now is what we're doing with that. Second, uh, if you join, yeah, and you don't have to pay to join the group. Uh, join the group. We're going to be talking about good stuff there, and uh, we're going to play with a lot of calls for another ulterior motive. I want you to experience what play with us is like. Because it's different than a show, it's different than reading an article, it's different than we're going to sit here and talk about the law of attraction for four hours. Victoria, start channeling Neville. (laughs) No, right? We do something radically fun, okay? So is the live call site on Facebook. Yep, go on my personal timeline and you'll see a little thing. Click there and you can go, you'll you'll find it. Yep. Yep. So, Angela says, I feel like Eminem and Bruce are giving me kisses. Oh, really? How do you do that? I don't, you know, <laughs> I don't even know where they are. They must be with Angela giving her kisses. <laughs> All righty. Michelle, how are you doing? Yeah, local. Is she? DM. Hello, Ma- DM. Yep. All right. Cool. Hello. <laughs> Excellent. So, guys. <laughs> yes. I guess that's pretty much it for a semi-coherent rambling. Yeah. Well, Leah, I noticed, just said again, and I've noticed you've said it in a few of the um, shows about... And it's so true. She said, again, what are you saying yes to? So that whole what are you that saying yes to? method, what are you saying yes to? If, yeah. if you want to grab something good that I'll give to you all year, okay, yeah. another crass commercial. They brought it up. Yeah. Uh, freenevel.com, see what's called the Yes Method Mastermind. There's yeah. a recording of a live call we did in there, yeah. as well as like two hours of really freaking good stuff. Yeah. A good, great yeah. peek under my hood. Yeah. And seriously, that was a great call and a fantastic package. So, yeah. uh, hey, Pete. Hello, Pete. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> we don't normally wear these. <laughs> <laughs> I tell you what, Pete, you know, she, look, look at the fashion she gives me. Right? This is just wonderful. No, right? These were our New Year's Eve hats. Oh, Let me no, explain no, no. to Pete because he's probably thinking, what? <laughs> <laughs> Tune in no. tomorrow, Pete. <laughs> <laughs> we went out for New Year. Fantastic place. And they gave us free hats. We spent so. a couple hundred bucks to get okay. gas and hats. Pete. Yeah. It's great. <laughs> so yeah. come on down for New Year's. It'll be great. Maybe we can all get gas and hats together. Oh, Daniela. <laughs> Thank you. Love you too. All right. So, so sure. <laughs> oh, I know. The Welsh. Oh, wow. Good on you. Cool. It's <laughs> gorgeous. Though. I love it. Okay. That's right. All right. Shall we go? We shall go. All right. So to let's tell everyone, 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 everyone. Ready? <laughs> Oh, so what we want to know is... Yeah. What do we want to know, Pete? Bob? <laughs> what did you learn? What did you learn? <laughs> what did you learn about you? Yep. <laughs> and what was your best fit? Hoover, 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 hoover. <laughs> meanwhile, back at the French. Yes. It's not just a place, it is a salad dressing. Right, meanwhile, go to freenever.com. That's right. <laughs> Join us in manifestingmasterycourse.com. Yep. And for refunds, go to feelitrealfun.com. You can that watch is. all of these from the beginning. The rightness. <laughs> and if you want another adventure this year, if you've already done MM, go to manifestingwithmax.com. Yeah. yeah. It's, yeah. A, it's a, a goodie, goodie right? Yeah. It's not delivered like drip feed like the other one, but it's... Uh, <laughs> <laughs> so you can have a lot of fun. Yeah. All right. Okay. Love you guys. Have a wonderful day. We are going Thanks, to the... Thanks, Bob. The hug park. Yeah, take these little rascals for a run. That's right. Anybody, want to, anybody Emmett, want to say hi? No. Emmett! Come on, buddy. Come say hi. Come here. Come, come on. Come here. 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 Come Oh, I can't. I'll let you go. <laughs> there we go. <laughs> Love you guys. See ya. See ya. <laughs>